Hello everyone, thank you all for coming to my channel. My name is Ariana Marche, and if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're back again, what's up girl? So today's video is basically gonna be a continuation of the social media detox. Y'all know I told y'all that I was going to start it, and I did, but some stuff happened and I kinda had got off of it, but I, I told y'all, like the original one, I would be basically documenting it day by day. Like, what am I doing without the social media? Like, everything and the plans and the goals that I have and basically the reason that I'm doing it. So, for one, I'm doing it because I really just spend too much time scrolling. Like, if we just going to be honest with you, this just a lot of time spent scrolling and downloading all of this stuff into my head, the stuff that I see. And a lot of the times, yes, social media can be positive because I do follow a lot of positive stuff. But then at the same time, it's always news being promoted and so much stuff that I don't really just care to see all the time. Like, I don't want all of those mental images in my head 24-7. So, just besides the fact that I scroll too much, I also want to take this time to, to be able to get closer to God and Christ and just really renew my faith let me say that to renew it and really just get stronger in it like i did it when i was younger i kind of just fell off and now like i'm older i understand it a lot more and the need of it so i really want to do that and really just focus on that as well and three just really to see what i can get accomplished just without that type of distraction i already have so many things playing for myself so many goals set and I really just want to get to it and so as far as the detox I set goals for myself like I wanted to do like 21 things so that I could try to do something like each day but so far I came up with like 13 things that I want to get accomplished within this time frame and just as far as anything else if I do uh come up with more stuff I'll just write it down let y'all know and um we'll just shoot get to it but um one of the things that i wrote down that i wanted to get accomplished during this time was to lose 15 pounds so i went on a weight loss journey from like 2021 up until basically now i guess and i lost over like 42 pounds i'll show y'all like a before and after picture right there um i lost over 42 pounds and um I want to say probably about like two or three months ago, I kind of took a break from the gym and I ended up gaining six pounds within that two month break. So I'm kind of sad about that. So I'm back in the gym trying to work that off. And my goal is to be able to lose 15 pounds within this 21 days, which I think is actually very doable. So to, of course, get close to God, get in my Bible. I've already set myself up on um, my Bible app on my iPad. Um, they have a thing where you can read a plan to like read the Bible in a certain amount of time. So I have that. So I want to be uh, just doing that, reading my Bible daily, praying more the way that I need to. And I also want to start like fasting and things like that. Just things to help me get stronger in my faith. Um, another thing that I wrote down was really to date myself a little bit more, get to know me, spend time with myself. So if that's taking myself out to a nice little movie or to dinner or buying myself some flowers, just doing something nice for myself. And four, I wanted to really, really, really bring forth a lot of time for my YouTube since I won't be scrolling. And yes, I work now and things like that, but I still wanted to make time to work on my dream. So I wanted to at least be posting two YouTube videos a week. So that means I'm really going to have to brainstorm more comments comments content to be able to push out for you guys so that's definitely a goal i'm already working on that as we speak so hmm. um another thing that i wrote down was to get to 50 subscribers by the end of this uh 21 days and like just to tie that all together as far as like with youtube um I was watching Kelly Stamps. That's like one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Like I have been 
binge watching her y'all and i was watching one of her videos and she had like business cards made for like her channel that she would pass out and she uh in one of the videos like she y'all know how they hang like their business cards or like lost dolls to like a little pole or something like that she had put her uh, business cards up there and i thought that that was really 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 creative so i was like you know what that's a good idea so like another thing I wanted to do was get to 50 subscribers and kind of like promote my channel and find different ways to do so so i'm gonna get those created try to promote my channel to people like while i'm out and about and get to 50 subscribers by the end of this 21 days um i wanted to teach myself how to braid i love to do hair and i wanted to do that especially with nails on because i like to have my claws done and I want to be able to teach myself how to braid with nails on. I think that'll be a big accomplishment for me. So I already have like a doll head. I just need to go grab my stand and the braid hair I have put up. I need to go grab that. Be on YouTube watching these videos. Trying to find something that's very detailed on how to start the braid off. Because I know how to braid. It's just like braiding from the scalp and then like starting off a box braid. And um, also, I wanted to learn how to do knotless as well. So, I'm going to put myself up to the test for these 21 days. Um, What is this? Finish 22. A book that I've been reading for the longest, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to keep it real. I've been reading that book for a hot, 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 hot little minute. And I, I plan on finishing that because I wanted to do... A book review on it for the channel so I need to finish that book I only have like nine chapters left and I wanted to finish that book but I also wanted to start a book within this um, 21 days start a book and also finish it within this 21 days so I need to be on go but mm, Commit to one day on the schedule. I am very bad at just timing and just, woo. So if I can, it's like I set up a day and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to do this by this time. Be done with it by this time. I'm going to do this by this time. And my day would just be thrown all off. I'll still get everything done, but it's not in the time that I wanted it to be done. Because when I have schedules, there's reasons that I want to do that so that I could come home and still cater to myself a little bit like have some time for me after the responsibilities y'all so commit at least one day to a full schedule like geez can't be that freaking hard um another thing that i wanted to do was create a vision board i have not made a vision board since like what 2021 it's going to be 2023 so create me a 2023 vision board so i'm gonna have to go buy magazines and things like that and i actually did want to do that on camera as well like you know set it up and kind of just talk to y'all really honestly um go to the gym every day i just talked about losing my 15 pounds so that means i will commit to the gym every single day and as far as the past what week or so i actually have been going to the gym at least every day well yeah at least every day no no less than like four times a week at least so i went to the gym twice yesterday actually i'm gonna go later on today this will be only my first time but i actually been like trying to go harder um doing what is that called the stairmaster y'all that ain't no joke the little stairmaster ain't no joke i remember my first time because i had saw this lady um on the instagram reel she was doing it she said uh, she was showing her results from 30 days of doing uh, 30 minutes on the Stairmaster every day for 30 days. She was just showing like her before and after. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, just walking upstairs. I used to do that in the warehouses at work and all that moving. Up. That can't be that hard. Girl, got off that Stairmaster and said, never again. It ain't no joke. That's a bad one. But no, I've been doing it. I've really been committing to it. It ain't so, so bad. It, it just take a really, a lot of you just getting on there and pushing yourself. So I done worked my way up to stay on there 15 minutes now. So I'll be doing 15 minutes, y'all. And we're going to try to find 
another 15 to do so when i go today i'm gonna do like 16 minutes so for the next few days up until i get to a full 30 i'm gonna just add a minute on and once i get to that 30 all of my workout sessions from there will be like okay full 30 minutes on the stir master so i'm gonna go and do 30 minutes and one walk consistency and, and just building it up y'all don't be going out there in them gyms trying to do the most and y'all just starting out just just let it build up and you'll get there that's my plan um like i said get my business cards and um 13 hang out with a friend i mean i have friends but after really cutting off everybody and just staying to myself it's really only like two people i talk to mainly like on a consistent basis so shoot between one of them two just try to get out a little bit more like you know everybody got their own life to live got their own stuff going on i got my stuff going on my friends and mom like just trying to find that time find that balance like i still need to learn that yes i'm an introvert yes i like to be alone any anything that i really like to do or involve myself in is just really sitting in front of this camera i'll be all right doing this every day but like human interaction it's still important like i don't want to just be so closed off to everybody so i've decided that i'm going to do that which i did go and eat lunch with a friend today so i had fun doing that and it was cool nice little interaction but um other than that those are my goals just things i plan to have done for this 21 day social media detox and i really encourage all of y'all to get on one and to do it and just try you never know what type of changes it may bring and even if you decide you know what this is actually kind of cool i'm actually getting something done shoot go longer i already told myself like i'm gonna make it to the 21 but um child if anything else come up and i'm just like you know what i'm i want to keep going let me try to make it to 30 so to go from 21 to 30 i'm gonna do it 30 to 45 45 to maybe two more months who knows but uh where is my phone so i still got my little insta app and snapchat and all it on my phone i wanted to delete it right here on the camera so that y'all know that your girl did it i'm finna take my my last few seconds to scroll see what i need to see because after this the 21 starts baby mm. my favorite peoples is live like, oh my god. So I'm just checking the last little bits of my apps before I get on off of here. Well, that's it. All right, y'all. So we finna delete them. My Instagram. Y'all really can't see this. It's looking a little dusty. Finna delete that. Gone. Snapchat. Gone. So, I don't got no more social medias. They are officially gone. So, my 21-day de detox officially starts now. 526 and it is tuesday december the 6th so it went in on let me see the 21st 
27th. December the 27th. We might as well drag it into the new year, but we gonna go to the the uh, 27th. And we'll just see how we do when we get there, y'all. No social medias. All my social medias is gone. I've been told y'all Facebook was gone, so boom. Y'all, it starts now, 526. So I'll be able to start back on December the 27th at 526 p.m., all right all right love y'all hope to see y'all in the next one we just gonna see how this 21 day goes and i'll just be documenting so actually i'm gonna just go ahead and just start documenting the rest of this day up until tomorrow and on up until so y'all be seeing more of me all right bye y'all